This video posted on Facebook last night is now going viral and it shows how many people in the city of Detroit are not following safety measures. And the city of Detroit is promising a crackdown. We would like to hear from you. Do you think the state is doing enough to enforce the stay at home order? Yes or no? Go to our website, wxyz.com slash vote to weigh in. Meantime, 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner live downtown where the mayor just discussed his plans. Jim. And I can tell you, Glenda, the mayor's office has seen this video. The state imposing up to $1,000 fines and six months in jail for people who do not stay home and stay safe. We are told Detroit police will enforce that here in the city. Detroit remains a hot spot. The mayor announcing 116 known deaths so far in the city. And the mayor says to people who still want to gather, this is real. It is almost a mathematical certainty that one of the people in that group has COVID-19. We ain't got corona. We ain't got corona. Y'all mad? We ain't got that We ain't trying to get it either. RIP my baby. This video was posted last night. It said on the video, a gathering for someone who passed away. RIP Ray Ray, man. The gathering is at a Detroit gas station, but police show up. Police! Taking off turns to defiance. The y'all here and they turning back around. F the police. The video is still rolling as the group moves into a residential neighborhood to party on. We ain't going nowhere. We all here, baby. We have issued tickets already. Uh, we will issue tickets uh, going forward. And when this is over, we will enforce those tickets. Uh, if we have to close parks, we'll close parks. What we're saying here is we don't want to do that. So the mayor says the parks are open for now, but they're still discussing that. They have taken down basketball hoops to sort of dissuade kids, especially from gathering. Some good news, he says 75 Detroit police officers who are out on quarantine are now back on the job. The city is watching their green light cameras all over it. Gas stations and other businesses, some 700, they're watching for groups to gather. We had a small group gathering here to do some skateboarding, but that's uh, still under the required number. Uh, and here's another shocking number. 43% of people who've gotten the test from the city out at the fairgrounds are now testing positive. This is still a very fluid and dangerous situation here in the city of Detroit. Reporting live downtown, Jim Kurtzner. 7 Action News. People really need to start taking this very seriously. Good to hear that those officers are now recovered and back out on the streets. Jim, thank you.